Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel uh, and welcome back to another vlog. Um, I'm just realizing now Kyle is in the shower right now and the shower is a bit loud. I hope the mic doesn't pick it up too much or that you can still hear my voice but yeah. Anyway, welcome back to uh, another episode of Vlogmas. Um, I just want to start by saying a huge huge thank you for the warm reception to my first episode which was a little vlog of my time in Copenhagen. Um, yeah, you guys are the best. Um, you left me such nice comments and yeah, it was it was really lovely. I also, I forgot to say, I think in that episode that a lot of the things that we did um, or that I did was based on recommendations from you guys or um, that I, I'd asked on Instagram what to do in Copenhagen and you guys gave me some ideas and also I'd watched um, I think Marlene of Marlene Knit and uh, Veronica of Kutova Kika have also had done vlogs for Copenhagen and so I, I drew inspirations from those as well and, and a few guys said that like you weren't, um, like my vlog and my trip also gave you some ideas because you're going to Copenhagen soon so I think it's just such a nice thing that we can um, inspire each other and like help each other plan trips and things like that because obviously we have we all have um, similar tastes in knitting as, anyway so um, or like in knitting at least so that you know I think that's great so anyway I'm gonna stop rambling um, welcome back to vlogmas episode 2 it is another travel vlog today because I am in Oslo so welcome to Oslo Norway um, I don't travel usually that much uh, but it just so happened that now we have two trips back to back and so I thought I would vlog that uh, I'm really excited to be here um, we arrived yesterday today is Friday we arrived yesterday we traveled from Scotland uh, via Heathrow and our flights were delayed, all of this, the usual, but it's fine, we made it. Uh, we're, st we're staying right in the city center here, so which is nice because that means we can walk most places. And um, yeah, so I will take you along with me. So this is this trip is a proper sort of like short vacation trip for the two of us. Kyle is not working this time around, so it's just us um, exploring Oslo. Um, and going to all the yarn stores oh my god guys i have like i was good in in denmark because i knew i was gonna come here and buy all the yarn i have a list i've made a list of exactly what i want and how much i want and yeah it's it's a lot um but i'm so excited uh because we're traveling with british airways we also have luggage al allowance included in the ticket so i have my small carry-on suitcase and my backpack for my clothes and then I brought my large suitcase to bring back yarn. <laughs> Seriously, I've never traveled with all, like, everything that you're allowed to have with you, like, all three pieces of luggage, but this time I did um, because of yarn. So, yes. Anyway, today the plan is, this morning we are going to, um, we are planning to go down to uh, the piers or the harbor or whatever it's called, to do a little um, cruise around the fjord of Oslo. Uh, that's something that we wanted to do like from the start as soon as we planned this trip. But then one of you recommended to take the B1 ferry, which is public transport, um, to because it goes all around the fjord. So this is what we're gonna do. Thank you for the recommendation. And then because we're not gonna be too far, we're gonna go and walk up to the top of the opera house, which is also uh, something that one of you recommended. So we are very excited about that. This is our morning. And then in the afternoon, I'm going to meet with a dear friend of mine who lives and works near Oslo. And she's going to come into Oslo this afternoon and we're going to go to Garntopia, which seems like the yarn stores of all yarn stores that has absolutely everything. So I'm really excited to go there. I'm really excited to meet with my friend and I haven't seen her in a few months. And um, yeah, so it's going to be an afternoon of yarny things, yarn chat, yarn shopping, and all of this, which I'm really, really excited about. So, and obviously I will take you along with me. Um, while I'm here, I thought I would show you uh, the knitting that I bought with me, which may just reminded me that it's December 1st, so happy December. It's officially Christmas season. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited about all the vlogmas that are gonna start popping up on uh, YouTube now, let me know in the comments below which uh, ones you watch because I'm always looking out for 
new ones to watch I usually watch the Laura Penrose one because she's just such an amazing vlogger and then um, I know Kate of Hawthorne Cottage Craft is doing one this year so I'm really excited about that and I watched the Nitty Natty one and um, I think that's the three that I watch mostly. I watch Woolly Mammoth, Emma, Woolly Mammoth. Sometimes she does it like once a week or something like that. So I would watch that if she does it this year. I don't know if she does. And yeah, but please let me know what else you're watching so we can all sort of, you know, like inspire each other to grow our YouTube subscription feed, <laughs> basically. Um, on to the knitting. So I brought um, two main projects. Uh, one is I'm making a gift. I'm making penny gloves for a friend who she doesn't knit. She's not a nitty friend, but she's a very dear friend who always has us uh, over to her place with another couple of friends for a Christmas dinner, which is going to be next week. And so as a thank you for always hosting us, I thought I would make her a pair of penny gloves. I literally just casted this on for the trip and I didn't even knit on it yesterday on the plane. I was reading the whole time, but this is all I have right now. It's just a one. Uh, I'm doing it on magic loop on two. Oh, did I take 2.5? Oh no, three millimeters. Never mind. 2.5 US. Three millimeter, which is what the pattern recommends. I, uh, and the yarn that I'm using is this beautiful um, gray yarn. Uh, it is the the right. Um, it's not the yarn recommended, but it's the same sort of like meterage what sports yarn. It's this. It's the Alpaca Supreme by. Uh, John Arbin. It's actually a leftover that I have. I used it to make a um, headband and I have tons left over. I have 62 grams, which should be more than enough um, for a pair of penny gloves. So this is one of the things that I have. And then the other thing that I have is um, I managed to get a you know those Christmas, uh, those advent skeins of sock yarn where you do a stripe a day? And I, I couldn't find one of those in the UK. All I heard about were those in the US. And I didn't really want to order from abroad. But then um, I posted on Instagram if anyone knew about one in the UK and everyone recommended the yarn batcher. Uh, it was a bit late when I asked that, but thankfully she has still had a few spares. So she, uh, I was able to order one. And yeah, I'm really excited. Hold on, let me get me myself sorted. So this is the yarn, the the ball band. I like the logo, it's really cute. It's a Merino Nylon 7525. And then it came with two skeins of uh, self-striping, which I wound before leaving, which I'm really excited about because I saw, obviously when you wind it, you see the colors and they're really, really pretty. And then it has a mini which is this lovely green color. So I've made one cuff already. I need to finish the other cuff. And then because today is the first, I need to, I want to um, knit the first stripe. So yeah, that is my knitting that I brought with me. Uh, I'm sure that will be more than enough. And then, and then that's that for now. Uh, the view from the hotel is really, really nice. We're up really high. We're up on the 28th floor. So we have a nice view all over the city and over the fjord. I think I took some footage and I'll, I'll show you. Uh, but yeah, just excited for the day. Just waiting for Kyle to get ready and finish uh, his shower and all this. And then, and then off we go and I will take you with me. So welcome back again to another video. Uh, welcome back to Vlogmas and I hope you will enjoy this one as well. See you in a bit.
morning. Um, it is the next day. Um, what a day we had yesterday. Uh, it was We had such a nice day. Uh, you will have seen footage of everything uh, that we did. Um, I didn't film again last night when we came back because I was just, I was really tired. Um, but yeah, we had the best day. And also I did some yarn shopping, like a lot of yarn shopping. I have so much yarn to show you and I'm so happy with what I got. But first things first, like you have, you would have seen, we went to, we went on a little cruise around the fjord first thing in the morning. And that was, that was absolutely amazing. Uh, we just took the B1 ferry, which is like public transport. And that was brilliant. So thank you so, so much to the person who recommended this to me. Someone recommended this to me over on Instagram. I'm going to try and find you again in, in the messages and in the, um, my archives on Instagram to like thank you and send you a message. But thank you so much. That was so nice. It was a beautiful day. It still is today. It's bright blue sky, really cold, but really dry cold. So to us, it's actually quite nice compared to the damn cold that we've got in Scotland. And yeah, we had the absolute best time. And then we went up to the opera house and we walked up to the top, like on top of the roof where you had also a really, really nice view. And then we went to the museum. So Kyle will say the Monk Museum. I will say the Munch Museum. So I don't know exactly. It's probably like we're both probably saying wrong, saying it wrong. But yeah, the museum of the painter who painted the scream. And yeah, it was nice. I'm not um, like Kyle wanted to go uh, and wanted to see the scream. And I, that was that was cool. That was nice. But I personally am not a big. I'm not really into like art museum, like fine art museum. It's not really my thing. Like I don't have anything against it. I'm just not super interested. Uh, I'm much more into like folk museum. Um, yeah, like folk museum, people's museum, a bit of like like history museums and, and things like that. I have a background in um, um, anthropology and historical anthropology. And so, yeah, that's more my jam. Um, and we will, we're gonna go to the um, Norwegian Folk Museum tomorrow, so I'm really excited about that. But yeah, it was nice to go to that art museum. It was nice to see the painting. Kyle just also just likes to like walk around and have a look. He's also not like he doesn't have a lot of knowledge about fine arts either, but he enjoys it. So we went and and that was nice. And then in the afternoon, guys, I went yarn shopping. So I met with my friend Adriana. It was so so nice to see her. Um, and yeah. We went yarn shopping and I went a bit crazy. I don't think I've ever bought so much yarn in one go. Um, it's all good though. Like I had a list of the yarn that I wanted to get and specific projects for those yarns. And I also had a budget. So that was um, good just for, just for me not to feel like too out of control and too overwhelmed and to like, if I started buying things and then I don't really know what I'm gonna use it for, it makes me feel very overwhelmed and very anxious and I just not enjoying it. So it was actually really nice to have made a list of what I would like to get and also have a budget and that made the whole experience wonderful. Um, my friend absolutely enabled me to buy all the yarn. <laughs> it was kind of funny because she would just like, she would very kindly be like, oh, just just give me, I'll, I'll hold your yarn for you. And then I, like my hands were empty then. And so I would, what do you do with like, when you're have nothing in your hands and you're, like facing a shelf full of yarn, you just grab more yarn. So yeah, it was really fun. We had the best time. Um, we had the best time. Like it was, it was so good. And the yarn here is so beautiful. Like a lot of it is nice and rustic, which is what I like. It's also yarn that either we don't find as easily in the UK, or if we do, it's much more expensive in the UK. So yeah, I was really happy with my purchases and I thought I would show you what I got. Also, my friend gifted me a skein of yarn and this little dude here, which is, he's really cute. We've named him Sven. And yes, he's gonna come back with us to Scotland and we love him very much. So he's gonna be here for the remainder of the video. Let me show you the yarn that I got. Okay, so, um, let me show you the situation. Basically, I've got this really big duffel bag and it is full to the brim with yarn. So I'm going to show you um, sort of what I got as I can grab it out of the bag. We went to three stores. One was Garntopia and 
this was heaven. They had pretty much everything, almost everything, in all the colors, and it was just like, it was so nice. I mean, you will have seen footage, it was such a nice store. And then we went to Fruvisk or something, again, I don't know how to pronounce Norwegian. And that was also lovely, they had a lot of yarn and also like a lot of little uh, like aberdashery kinds of things, like little notions, little buttons, things like that. That was a really lovely store as well. That was in the center of, of um, Oslo. And then we also went to like a place that's kind of like a, a department store and they had like perfume and everything, like any kind of like Debenhams or if you're in France, like Galerie Lafayette or like those kinds of big department stores and they had like a whole area with yarn. So we also went um, there. So let's see what I got. So the first thing that I will show you is this lovely brown yarn. This is from um, a place called the Oslo micro spinnery or like a micro mill that is like a, a small mill that is I don't know if it's like right in Oslo but it's really close to Oslo if it's not right in Oslo and this yarn you can't really find anything anywhere other than the mill and that shop and it's really beautiful yarn uh, they have a few different bases most of them contain Norwegian wool and then a lot of them also contain mulberry silk and then I think some have like lamb's wool or something like that and the one that I got is um uh, a blend of 50% uh, Norwegian wool, 30% lamb's wool, and 20% uh, mulberry silk. And it is a lace weight. It is 300 meters per 50 grams. And um, yeah, so I bought three with the intention of making a port sweater. Uh, and I will hold this with the beige yarn. I have a really big cone of French yarn. It's the beige yarn that I use as the main color in my Stripe Hype sweater, if you've seen the podcast episode where I, I talk about this. And so if I hold it with this, I think it's going to make it like a really nice marled effect. So I'm really excited for that. Then I also got some... Um, Hillis Vag. I got some Tinder and I got some Sol in those colors. Um, they are not the same yardage or meterage, but they can be used together, like they knit up to the same gauge. The Tinda is, I think, just Norwegian... Oh, it's Norwegian wool and Gotland, and then the Sol has a bit of lamb's wool, I think. Yeah, 100% lamb's wool, Norwegian lamb's wool. So I got three skeins of each. Uh, I would like to make a collar work sweater and I'm thinking, I don't know if you've seen on Instagram the new sweater that Rebecca of the Korea Bear is designing that has like the top was green, the bottom was beige and it has like color work in the middle and this is really really nice so that's what I'm saving this yarn for for um, whenever the pattern comes out or if she does a public test knit I might apply for that, uh, we'll see but yeah really really like it. Uh, they had so many nice colors, it was kind of hard to choose, but I really love those. So I have three skeins of that, of each color. I'm putting this away. And then, oh, I have this other skein of Sol, which my friend gifted me along with Sven, um, which is a lovely, like, yellow color. I think I'm going to make a hat with that. It's 100 grams. It's like a... Uh, around 290 meters, so maybe like a heavy DK or DK or something. Um, then I got yarn to make a... I would like to make a Celeste sweater. So if you've been watching my previous podcast episode, you know that I recently got into color work. I recently learned color work. I made a hat, like a Fair Isle hat for my husband. I really enjoyed it and now I'm a bit on the... Like I want to do all the color work, you know. And so I would like to do a Celeste sweater by Petite Knit. Um, I don't, because I'm so new at color work, I don't really have the confidence just yet to put colors together. I think I need a bit more experience. But I found a few people on Instagram that had made, you know, when you search the hashtag, that had made the Celeste sweater in a color palette that I really, really liked. And thankfully in their post, they had written which color they had used. So I went there and I, I used the same colors more or less. 
Um, the one that I'd seen had used a dark gray and I switched that for a dark blue, but yeah, it was really useful. So if you're like me and you're not really sure about putting colors together and things like that, I feel like l looking through Ravelry and also looking through the hashtag on Instagram can be really great inspiration. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to make the body. Uh, I used, I bought Pure Gain, which is what the pattern recommends. I really wanted to try um, Pure Gain. Uh, I've never used it before. It's 100% Norwegian wool. I know some people say it's a bit rough and or like rustic and more like outerwear kind of wool, but um, for me it's fine. I'm not really sensitive to it. So yeah. So the main color I'm going to use this beige. Uh, that is color 2511. And then, so I bought like 10 balls of that because you need 10 balls for my size. Um, each ball is uh, 50 grams for 91 meters, which is so it's quite like not chunky, but it's quite thick yarn. So that's for the main color, the body, and then the four colors for the yoke, which I think this pattern is really nice because um, I think for all the sizes, uh, you need only one of each of the colors for the yoke. So I think that's really cool. It makes it like not too pricey because it's always a shame when you have to buy like two balls of a color and then you only use like 10 grams of the second ball and then you have lots of less of that lost left over so yeah i think that's a really clever way of doing it these are the colors that i picked for the yoke and i think it's going to look really pretty that's what the person had used on instagram that i really liked they had just used like a dark gray instead of the dark blue here but i like the blue better I was also a bit concerned that the light beige and the body color are quite similar, but they're not exactly the same and uh, placed properly on the yoke. They're not going to be close to each other, so should be fine. So the beige is color 2710. Um, I've got my hair in it already. The brown is 3070. The dark blue is, hmm, I want to say 6581 or 5581, I'm not sure. And then the light blue is 81, AD51. Yeah. So really excited about that. Uh, I think this is something I'm probably going to cast on as soon as I get home. I've been knitting on a lot of small things and accessories uh, lately and I'm kind of craving like a big jumper project again. So. I think I'm going to cast this on when I get home. And then I bought a whole bunch of... Oh, no, wait. Hold on, hold on. I bought a whole bunch of Rauma yarn of different kinds. So I bought this one first. Two ball of the Ven Ventre. I don't know. In this like chocolatey brown color. Because one of the women in the store recommended this to use for socks as like a no nylon non superwash sock yarn and so yeah I'm going to give it a go and see how it uh, how it works it's quite uh, dry quite rough as well quite rustic and it's 120 grams per uh, 120 meters per 50 grams so it's quite it's more like a DK sock I would say which is fine I also bought this Rama Fivel um I'd heard Inga of Knitting Traditions talk about it lately, like recently on one of her podcasts. Apparently, it's one of the new Rama garns, um, yarns, and it is supposed to be quite soft. So I was curious to try it. Um, I think I'm like I'm fine with all of those yarns. Like I've tried, I don't think I will be they will be itchy to me. But I was really curious to try it, and I found it in this really really lovely like brown rust color that I love. I got two balls to make a hat. And then I got a whole bunch of Finul, Rama Finul, um, because Inge is always saying like, oh, this is the best yarn ever. So we're getting some, you know, if, if Inge says it's good, it's good. So I got a bunch to make like color work cows or mittens or something. So I have this one, which is 4121 beautiful color. I have this more neutral one, which is 4078. They would look very good together. I also have 
um, this one which is 4125 again would also all look very nice together and then I have this beautiful green which is 4129 I love it once again would look very very nice together and then I got two balls of white and then the white is like uh, 0400 zero, zero. and then I got this dark blue which is 4387 um, I think I'm going to hold this together these together and make maybe mittens for Kyle each ball is it's each ball is 50 grams so I think there's plenty um, to make even a pair of mittens for someone with like someone tall with large hands um, but yeah I think this would look very good for him like he has a lot of he wears a lot of like blue and purple and things so and I've knitted him some like gray cows and things so I think this would go uh, really nicely with any of his other accessories not he doesn't care very much about matching but I do so and I'm the one who knits things so I get to choose the color sometimes <laughs> and then the other blue so I went so the store I bought all of that or like some of that I had I went to the checkout desk with nine balls and the woman was like well you know if you buy nine you get a tenth one free <laughs> so I went to get another one and I got this beautiful blue one which I absolutely love and I think again with the white it could look very very nice um, in like some color work mittens this is shade 4127 I'll put all the stuff in the description box below but yeah I really love this color so yeah it was also I actually bought three balls of the did I buy oh no I bought two balls of the white um, I also think like from the way this looks and feel, I think you would probably be just fine using it together with Jameson's yarn. So like if I wanted to use a lot more white than I have, I could probably just get the white from Jameson Smith or Jameson's of Shetland and that would be just fine. They feel very similar, um, like to the touch. Obviously those are Norwegian wool and then Jameson is Shetland wool, but um, yeah, I think. I think that would work really well so yeah this is all I have for now because there was a couple of a couple more balls that I wanted and I couldn't find in the stores that I went to yesterday but there's like I think close to our hotel there's a like a shopping mall shopping center and apparently they have a yarn store there and so I'm just going to pop down now and have a look and see if they have what I want if they don't it's fine honestly I've bought more than enough but um I'm still a little bit under budget so I could buy that if I wanted not that I have to spend everything but yeah so yeah I'm really happy with those purchases um, it's gonna fit in the suitcase because I brought like a suitcase with space specifically for yarn and I can't wait to knit everything it's just it's such beautiful wool like lovely lovely rustic wool like I like I love so I'm really 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 happy with what I got all right, I've been rambling on for quite a while now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Uh, like I said, today is Saturday. Saturday, we don't really have much planned this morning. Kyle went down to the swimming pool of the hotel for a little bit. I'm gonna go and try and find that yarn shop, and then yeah, we're gonna see what we do. We might just go for a walk around town, find somewhere to eat, and then this afternoon we have a we have booked a walking tour. Um, of the city center of Oslo with a bit of an emphasis on Christmas markets so that is going to be really fun and really interesting I think and I'm really looking forward to that um, yeah and it'll be nice to spend some time with Kyle as well because then yesterday afternoon I spent the whole afternoon with my friend and Kyle was just doing his own thing so yeah I'm looking forward to it anyway it's been 20 minutes I've been talking to you about yarn for 20 minutes this vlog is going to be very long um, so I will say bye for now um, I'll take you along with me this afternoon and I will catch up with you later and as Ben says bye as well bye
Hello, it is the next day. Um, I didn't record uh, yesterday uh, when we came back. I didn't even film much yesterday afternoon. Uh, we were doing that walking tour uh, in the city center of Oslo and it was just so, so cold. Um, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't get my hands out of my like out of my gloves or out of my pocket to hold the phone for more than five seconds before freezing. So, yeah, I didn't film. And to be honest, like it's a bit unfortunate, but the tour was kind of disappointing. Um, I think, like I said in my previous video, like, I really enjoyed those walking tours. Usually, when I go visit a new place, that I don't really know anything about. I really enjoy those because, um, like you know, you learn about the. The town or the area you're in and then the guides usually give you a lot of you know interesting facts and bits of history and like sort of you learn how like what it's like to live in this place and yeah unfortunately our guide yesterday wasn't it wasn't the great the greatest it was a bit yeah i was a bit disappointing it was more like trying to it felt like it was just more trying to like taking us to a few places and trying to sort of get us to buy things or like sell us whatever and yeah that was not super enjoyable and it was also very cold so yeah i just didn't film at all but uh it's okay it's fine um i uh i think i mentioned that i before this tour i wanted to go back to uh a store a yarn store because of some yarn that uh I meant to get the day before and I didn't and I forgot or something. I think I mentioned that. I'm not remembering now. But anyway, I did find this yarn, the yarn that I wanted and it is this yarn. It is Hillesvag um, Varda. The one that I was actually looking for was the Blana Blaine. I, I'm sorry, again, don't know how to pronounce because of the, the gauge. I would like to make a... Uh, we can slip over by petite knit and it's I think it's knit in bulky so this one was the good the right like thickness if I just wanted to do it one strand but they didn't have the space at all I knew I wanted it in this specific color that they carry over a few bases and they did have this one which if I hold double I get the right gauge so that's why I bought but yeah it's a beautiful color um I really like it so yeah I got three skeins of that and yeah, and then we just, after the tour, we just stopped by somewhere, had like a coffee and a cinnamon roll. Like the cinnamon rolls here are really, really good. Like really good. Absolutely love them. The batter is not really, or the dough is not the same as like the one in the cin cinnamon rolls that we find in the UK. And it's much lighter and much more like fluffy in a way. And it is really good. Really enjoy that. And then we just went back to the hotel. And we crashed because yeah the cold really gets to you it is it has been unusually cold and it's been a little bit of a struggle for us we're not used to that cold that kind of cold and um yeah like the clothes that we wear were fine but my toes were getting my feet and my toes were getting so cold even though i have like winter walking boots and woolen socks and everything so yeah that's been a bit of a challenge but it's all right like it's all right <laughs> and then so yeah today so today is sunday it's the afternoon already. I'm just going to wrap up the video here, actually, because the last few things that we need to do is basically to pack and we're leaving tomorrow morning. But uh, yeah, I just thought I would tell you a bit of what we did. You will have seen some footage just now. Uh, we went to the Folk Museum, which I think I'd mentioned before, and that was really nice, actually. I really enjoyed that. Um, it was a bit of a special day because they had the Christmas, mar the Christmas market on today. They don't have it every day of the week, from what I can understand. And so, yeah, it was like an outdoor museum with like um, sort of like little village area of like historical village areas of different regions of Norway. Again, from what I understand, a lot of like everything was signed, but not a lot was signed in English. So it's just a bit of what I could gather from gathered from like the Norwegian and then from like people. Obviously, there's like people working there and also like people in costumes and things. And so they would explain things to us in English. But yeah, I, I had a good time. It was again, it was really cold. And so we would like go in and out of buildings. But um, yeah, it was fun. And I, I will sh I will have shared some footage. Um, one thing that I really liked is that you will have seen there's there was this sort of cart where they were making bundles of um, 
I think it was like oat or some grain like this and I had I had no idea what it was we'd seen it on a few in a few houses like on the either on the front door or on the gate or something like that and I had no idea what it was and so we asked the person who was making them and yeah apparently it's like something that you put outside your your house for like the holiday season for her good luck and things like that but also for like to feed the birds um like little garden birds i guess and then in the hope that and then there's that superstition that if the birds eat that those grains well that means they won't come and eat your harvest the next year so i thought it was kind of fun it was kind of sweet the idea of like you know like feeding the birds and yeah i thought that was fun that was really fun so and people are very nice explaining things to us because obviously like i had no idea what that was and so yeah that was really very nice of them and yeah and so yeah we we went all around uh and we had fun and as you will have seen there was an, an area was the um, there was an area with a few workshops so one was like a pottery one was a silversmith i don't think i filmed in those and then one was the weaver which had a lot of weaving mo uh, looms sorry that were really nice and then a lot of wool and woolen things and they had some very special yarn and i was really lucky to get one skein so just across from this museum there is uh, I think what is called the King's Gardens and they have sheep there and so I was able to buy a skein of um, yarn that is like the wool of the King's sheep I guess and all Norwegian sheep and it looks like this and I really love it it's like a cool brown they had like a darker brown and then they had a grey but I really like this color this is what it says um, I mean yeah and then yeah it's 100 grams per um let me see where i find i thought i found it somewhere um yeah uh 180 meters per 100 grams so like erin maybe worsted erin and they had something they had a hat knit in this wool as a sample and it's actually quite soft and the woman was explaining to me that it softens more and more as you wear it and as you wash it so yeah really excited to have been able to get this skein which is a super special skein and i don't think one that you can find really anywhere else so yeah i'm really happy with that anyway um i think that's it for this video oh no i just forgot something i made a mistake yesterday or like for you a few minutes ago when i said this dude was ben so i think we wanted to name him Sven at first but then we changed our mind and went with Olaf and I forgot before I filmed and then Kyle reminded me so my apologies this is not Sven this is Olaf and he's going to come back with us to Scotland so there you go I just wanted to correct my mistake um but yeah I'm going to finish this video here uh thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it once again, thank you so much for the response to my first Vlogmas video, the Copenhagen one. It's been absolutely amazing. It's been so wonderful to read your comments and yeah, it's been the best. It's given me um, more confidence in vlogging and uh, like editing and publishing vlogs on my YouTube channel. So yeah, once again, I'm not going to like vlog all the time, but I feel like on special occasions it's quite nice. Uh, when I travel or like this during vlogmas and things like that so yeah thank you thank you for that thank you for your lovely comments thank you for the love on that video and it's given me it's given me confidence and it's been quite nice uh the next vlog is going to be if all goes well next week uh or like a week from the Wednesday when this one is published and we're going to be at home uh, we're going to stay in Scotland now for the rest for the holidays and everything and yeah we I think it's probably going to be mostly about us decorating the house for Christmas. We haven't done anything yet because we didn't want to put up the Christmas tree uh, and then leave for four days and leave three cats alone in a house with the Christmas tree. That's that's a bit risky. Not that the cats are completely alone the whole time that we're here. We have a cat sitter that comes and looks after them and feeds them and everything. She comes once a day and she's the absolute best. 
we've been using her for the past three trips that we've had before we used to ask friends but I don't know I think we just felt better going with a professional especially like two of our cats are kind of old so you know in case of emergency it's nice to have someone who would know what to do and yeah she's been fantastic so I will link her below if you're in Edinburgh and you're looking for a cat sitter or you know someone who's looking for a cat sitter like she's the one she's really really good anyway enough rambling um once again thank you so very much for watching i can't wait to knit all the yarn that i bought i can't wait to show what i knit with all the yarn that i bought and yeah thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye